guys, Cobra DBS here. Um, real quick before we get into the actual, you know, content of the video, um, I just wanted to say uh, thanks to anybody who watched the, uh, the the comeback video, we'll call it. Um, at close to 100 views, which, you know, I mean, I've still got like a thousand subscribers, so I don't think 100 is, a, is too bad a number. I didn't really have any expectations for it, so um, that's cool to see, and I appreciate you guys watching, commenting, um, stuff like that. A lot of familiar names. A lot of familiar names so it was cool to see um so hey let's make another one huh um we'll just do it old school this time um it's just gonna be uh some pickups not overly big i dropped a couple of hints in the um in the room tour video so you'll you know i had some things coming so we'll just talk about that but there's some other stuff here too um i'll start with the newer games then go down the line to the uh the nes games there's a hint there. Um, there's a total of two, four, six, eight games total, so not huge, but just some cool stuff that I got recently. Um, and you know, from here, um, probably what I'll wind up doing is uh, coming up with ideas for videos that I want to make again. I wanted to do a video talking about um, these limited run type companies and um, kind of how that whole market has exploded and then potentially um, imploded. Um, so things like that. Um, you know, and we'll come up with a whole bunch of stuff. But anyway, for pickups, um, let's just get to it. I'll start with Xbox One, just a single game. Um, new game that had come out, um, and I did not even take the sticker off the front. Should do that. There we go. New game on Xbox One. I talked about it in the uh, in the room tour video. Zombie Army Four: Dead War. Now. The, the first game um, in this series is called Zombie Army Trilogy, and it's called that because it's actually a pack of DLC, um, or it's a, it's a combination of DLC packs for Sniper Elite 2. Um, it had two zombie DLC packs, I believe, and then they made a third pack uh, episode, basically, specifically for that game, so they made it the trilogy, so that's why this one is Zombie Army 4. There's technically only two games in the series, um, but the first one was like a trilogy, so they just call this one four. Uh, makes sense to me. Uh, I'll say it, and I'll say it forever. Uh, Zombie Army Trilogy is the most fun I've ever had in a co-op game. It just bar none. It's it's very simple. Um, it's very tongue in cheek, um, but it's very much uh, just a straightforward uh, straightforward game. And for co-op, uh, it's a lot of fun. So if you love '80s horror movies, especially. Um, you'll enjoy it. All of the ach achievements, for example, are um, named after quotes or references to old movies, or older horror movies. Um, there's a few Evil Dead ones. Um, I think one of them was called A Farewell to Arms. I could be mistaken. I could be mistaken. One might be called Groovy. I don't know. But you'll, you'll get the references um, if you see it. Um, so anyway, uh, wait for the weekend. So uh, my buddy and I are going to um, start that up this weekend. Um, if you order that from Best Buy, or if you got the Collector's Edition, I didn't, but if you ordered it from Best Buy, you could also get the Steelbook for free, uh, or included, I should say. So, it's, um, you know, it's a matte finished Steelbook, it looks nice, pretty simple, got some unique art there on the front, and then I think the inside has a little bit of art too, not too bad. What I really like about these games is that it actually uses the Sniper Elite mechanics, um, so you're always going to have a Sniper. Um, and you can just plow through these hordes of, of, of zombies and, and take them out. I think this one's going to be a little bit more bigger in scope than the Zombie Army Trilogy was. Um, but I'm really excited to play through that. Love Rebellion. I love all the games that they've come out with in the past, you know, five years. Starting with Sniper Elite 2. I've played most of the stuff they've come out with. Um, Alright, so that's the only Xbox game. Let's get to Switch. Um, so we talked a little bit, or I mentioned a little bit the... Um, uh, Limited run companies. I've got a couple of games there um, that I want to show off. This first one is probably the coolest one. It is a, um, a collector's edition for a game called Ultra Core. Um, I got this pretty recently, within the past couple of months. Um, I thought it was worth mentioning in the video. It's actually, uh, and I mentioned I guess, this again in the pickup for the room tour video, it is a, uh, a Genesis game that was finished. It was made by DICE, uh, the company DICE that's still around, um, but never released. I don't really know much beyond that, but. Uh, strictly limited games decided to do a physical version of it and in fact they actually released a version of it on a Genesis cartridge that you can buy. Um, I think it's sold out now but uh, I haven't played this yet but it looks kind of like Turrican if you're familiar with Turrican it looks a lot like that. 
Um, that might still be available on Strictly Limited Games' website. Uh, speaking of limited games, limited run games, Blazing Chrome. Um, I've, I've put a few hours into this one already. Uh, well, maybe not a few hours, an hour, an hour and a half, two or so. Difficult um, and exactly what you would want from a Contra Metal Slug-esque game. Um, I would say it reminds me a mix of Contra 3 and Metal Slug. You know, probably veering closer to Contra 3 than Metal Slug. But, um, yeah, it's a good game. Um, three difficulty settings, easy, medium, and hard. I, you have to unlock hard. It doesn't come unlocked at the uh, in the beginning. Decided I wanted to start on medium. Uh, that was a mistake. So I've restarted the game on easy um, to try and learn, you know, how to play it and then go from there. But uh, if you're a fan of the run and gun games, this is a this is one done right in, in my mind. So fun, and that's a limited run game. Uh, limited run the pump the company. Uh, I don't think this is available at Best Buy. I, I don't. I could be wrong there, but I, I don't know that this had a Best Buy release. Some of their limited run games do get Best Buy releases. I don't think that's one of them. Uh, here's another game I got. Uh, I just got this the other day. Um, GameStop had a deal of the day for like, uh, I think this game was like $13, and they sent me some $5 coupon. So I ended up getting this for like 8 bucks and maybe 9 after tax and all that. Um, it's called Sparklight. Um, this is a uh, this is another indie game. Uh, this game is like a, it's it's what they call a roguelike um, game. It's kind of an overused term nowadays, but essentially the way the game works is, you know, you go out into this world and it's it's uh, imagine like the original Legend of Zelda, how every world or every screen is like a its own screen, and then you move on and the camera pans over to the new screen full of enemies. Um, the idea of the game is to you're in this um, city in the sky, basically it's a ship. And when you go down to the ground, um, your goal is to last as long as you can and um, get what they call sparklight, which is like the currency in the game, which you can use to upgrade the sky, uh, the ship. And the uh, more you upgrade the sky, the more powerful you get and the further you can advance down the ground. So it's kind of like this continuous loop of becoming more powerful, getting more sparklight, increasing the capacity or the, um, the power of your ship, which then makes you more powerful, you can get more sparklight, yada, yada, yada. Um, very fun. Uh, very fun. If you ever played the game Moonlighter, which is an excellent, another excellent indie game, it's a lot like that, uh, gameplay-wise. Very, it's top-down, Legend of Zelda style. Um, a lot like that, um, without the economy aspect of it, so you're not selling things in this game. Um, Moonlighter, I, I could do a whole video on Moonlighter, um, I won't talk any more about it here, but um, if you've played that, this is very similar. Sparklight. Um, there's a collector's edition for this game from somewhere, uh, and I don't know who did it. It may be, um, oh, what's the name of that company? Um, Signature Edition Games. They take um, games like this and give them a, a collector's edition. They did it for Dead Cells. Moonlighter has one. Um, stuff like that. Good game. Real cheap. You should check that one out. Okay, um, four NES games here. Now, in that video, the Room Tour video, I mentioned Video Game Sage, right? It's the new Nintendo Age. Um, I um, did my first deal on there, and I, I, I had mentioned that and told you that uh, that they were coming. Uh, that deal was for four um, boxed slash complete Nintendo um, Entertainment System games. Um, the guy gave me a really good deal, and he was good to work with, and that's really why I love those forums because you know if I had gone to eBay, this would have been a um, maybe a couple hundred dollar purchase, maybe a little bit less than that, but um, as it stands, I think the whole lot was like a hundred and fifteen, hundred and twenty, somewhere in that realm. I think I think it was one fifteen actually. Um, and it's four boxed games, all um, games I um, was looking to get. So uh, we will start with a game I actually actually already have. And that is Cabal. So Cabal is a good um, arcade style game, over the shoulder. Um, third person uh, type game. If you haven't played Cabal, um, it's a lot of fun. It's pretty simple. Um, it's a good co-op game. Um, but I can say it's uh, one of the few Milton Bradley games for the NES that I, I can recall being good. Um, I've played this many times. I have it loose. Um, wanted to get a complete copy. And um, the guy um, from Video Game Sage was nice enough. He, did, he didn't mention this. Um, 
to get uh, box protectors for them. So they all came in box protectors. Uh, we can open this up. This one is this one is complete in very nice shape. Oh, it even has a, a sleeve for the, the the manual. That's great. Um, there's the cart there, so nothing too wild, but uh, that's a good game. I mean, the complete copy of that game is like, I don't know, 20 to $30 or so. Um, it's just a game I wanted to have because I like it. This next one I've never played, but I've always kind of wanted to try it out. Um, and now that I have it, I can do that. Um, and I always thought the box was pretty cool. And that game is Pinball Quest. So it's like, the, it's like an RPG pinball type game. Um, I hear it's pretty okay. It's not that great. Um, but I thought it was a unique enough idea to give it a go. Um, there's a game out there nowadays called Yoku's Island Express, which is a pinball Metroidvania type game. Um, you traverse the world flipping on, um, or going through uh, flippers, which every screen is sort of like a mini um, pinball table, we'll say. Um, I wasn't a big fan of that game. I, I really did not like it that much. I found it to be annoying to traverse. So we will see how this one is. Um, but this is very cool, opening the box again in a box protector. Um, cartridge is in really good shape, but this one is uh, also comes in a, a bag, but um, even has the mail-in stuff, and uh, there's something else in there. Let's see what that is. Um, probably a Jalico poster, or Jalico, however you pronounce it. Yeah, it is. All right, I won't open it up, but that's what that is. It's a poster of a bunch of um, Jalico or Jalico games, plus the original mail-in. So that's cool. It's cool to have that kind of stuff. Um, Again, not a game that is, um, you know, expensive or, um, or or hard to find or really that sought after. Um, but I thought it was a cool concept, and I, w I wanted to uh, wanted to try it out. Again, I came with a box protector. Um, all right, two games left. Probably, the, definitely the two best. Um, first one is a game I used to have and I sold, but it's a, it's really an NES classic, and I want to make sure that I got it back. Ninja Gaiden. Um, this is a complete copy. And um, it's in pretty good shape. He, he did mention this. The front is faded ever so slightly. Like, if you didn't tell me it was faded, I, I might not even notice. Um, but, uh, but it is slightly. Um, still in really good shape, though. Right, let's see what kind of goodies are in this one, if any. Again, has the baggie. Uh, manual's a little... It's got a little wear to the manual. Um, maybe I can get a replacement down the line. But uh, not too bad. Um, and I don't think there's anything else in there. No. So that's all. So cartridge manual. Um, and we are good to go. Great. So, I mean, I used to have the trilogy on NES. Good games. Um, I never beat them. Uh, I'm just not that good at them. Um, but I always wanted to have them because they are fun. They're good to play. All right, last game. Definitely not the least. In fact, this is one of those games that I never had. Um, very rarely do you even see it out there, and um, if you do, it's kind of a, I don't know, it's like a $50 cartridge, maybe, I, so I'm not really sure, uh, maybe less than that, but it's a it's a pretty uncommon game, and I feel confident saying that, um, because a lot of people throw around that kind of uh, lingo without really meaning it. In this case, I, don't, I think I've seen this once in person, um, I would not call it rare whatsoever, but uh, it's definitely an uncommon game. And it is uh, one of the, I guess there's a few Konami games on NES, Monster in My Pocket. Um, never played it, um, always was kind of curious about it, um, but again, never really came across it. Um, but I always thought it looked really interesting. Um, and I've heard it's pretty decent, I, I think. Um, so it's just, this, is one, this one is just box and cartridge, so I need a manual. Um, manual I can get for less than $30 if I, if I, wanted, to, uh, um, if I wanted to pick one up. Uh, and we will see. Cartridge is pretty good, too. All right. So uh, I'll give this one a go. I'll clean these up. And um, I think I've got to hook up the NES. But uh, I, I really wanted to try that one. So um, I will. And then uh, that's the last thing. Um, so like I mentioned, those four games I got from Video Game Sage. I I'll put another link in the description. I'm not sponsored by them, obviously. There's no... Um, there's no gain for me for you to go there, um, but I do think it's a good uh, a good place to go and um, try and make some deals, uh, buying or selling. Um, anyway, uh, you know that's it. Um, like I said, you know the first video went over pretty well, and hopefully this one does too. Um, and well, I guess we'll just start the uh, the chain of videos whenever I um, 
have some pickups or come up with some ideas for uh, for interesting videos, I think we'll uh, we'll do it. So thanks for watching, guys. Drop a comment if you have any questions or um, or just want to say hey. So we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.